So my folks aren't around anymore, but a few years ago before my dad passed, my mom was the first one to get ill. And life happens like that. Uh, at some point in your life, uh, your folks are gonna end up that way. And so in our case, uh, my parents had nothing planned in advance for um, their retirement years, uh, especially when they became sick. So I'm one of four brothers, luckily, and one of my brothers and I put, my head, put our heads together and we said, you know what, mom and dad are not doing a good job taking care of the house anymore. Mom is now sick. What are we going to do? And as you all know, here in Nocatee, we do have assisted living. We have independent living. We have those options. But when we looked into it, it was very expensive. And so I'm getting a lot of calls these days for multi-generational living. Folks are saying, hey, I have my mom, I have my dad, I'm moving here. What are my options? And in here in Nocatee, it's very expensive to find a home with that in-law, mother-in-law suite. So there are other options for multi-generational living, and we're gonna look at that today. Okay, so if you've watched previous videos of mine, you might have heard me gripe about the fact that here in Nocatee, we have a lot of villas, a lot of townhomes. And I think the reason why builders do that is because it's cheaper build. It's easier to build homes with shared roofing. There's a lot of savings in it. And Nocatee has gotten so expensive. And it's not just the, the builder's fault. The, the land has gotten more expensive and the developer charges the builder more. So the, the next option is, is to subdivide the land and add more townhomes and villas, which are cheaper to build, but you can build more of them and they're probably more profitable, right? Okay, so that was my gripe. But the reality is, is that homes have gotten so expensive here and the type of people migrating here to Florida in this area are from urban areas and they are totally happy with just being able to have an amazing preserve with wildlife behind their townhome or villa. And so in this case, I'm sitting in crosswinds down on the southern end of Nocatee near Pine Island Academy, the latest K through eight school here in Nocatee. And I'm in a David Weekly um, villa, they call it. Otherwise, more or less a duplex. Um, and I thought to myself, when my folks lived close to me in the condo building that uh, I lived in so that I could keep an eye on my mom and help my dad out, it was actually a very convenient setting because I still had my privacy, my wife still had my privacy, we were having my, uh, my oldest daughter at that time. And so it was a very convenient factor. So it dawned on me when I was getting calls from folks like you that said, hey, I gotta bring my mom and dad down as well. Um, what's the option for them? Um, can I find a house with an in-law suite? And those houses are very far and few in between. And it's very expensive. So this is an alternative to keep things separated. When you look at these options of a villa, there are two uh, more or less homes connected by one wall on a 40 foot lot with a pretty nice size yard on a preserve. And that's pretty incredible. You can see here when you look at these backyards, there is even enough room for you to put a pool in. Now, David Weekly won't put a pool in, but you can after the fact. And again, a nice size 40 foot lot with the divider between the two yards and you can put a fence up. And if you want to put a little tiny pool in, have at it because you have a 40 foot lot. These uh, units are offered uh, with two bedrooms or three bedrooms. So you can have a two bedroom with a den or a three bedroom. So if you want to have a, th uh, a three bedroom and mom and dad want to do a two bedroom with a den or vice versa, you can do that. Now, the reason I'm making this video so quickly is these just opened up by David Weekly. And the reality is if you want to pick your neighbor and be able to share a wall with a family neighbor, you need to get in now. 
okay? And the costs for these places roughly are around 520 to 550, again, depending on the finishes. You cannot pick out the structural units or anything. David Weekly has already done that, but you can still pick out the finishes in Design Center. So you're looking at between 520, 550. They have a $20,000 incentive that you can spend in Design Center. Um, and they're also, if you use the preferred lender, they're giving you 1% back uh, towards closing costs as well. So there's a always a lot of incentives, like I say in every video, to go ahead and be one of the first people in the community and the last person in the community, because that's where the incentives lie. So take a look, let's check it out, the options and the finishes of this David Weekly Villa. Welcome. All right, so as soon as you enter the home, the first thing you're gonna notice to your right is bedroom number one. Not very common in villas like this, but these are 12 foot ceilings and eight foot doors. That is an upgrade that is standard. And then you have a double door closet. Outside of bedroom one, you have your bathroom, shower tub combo on this one, south stone uh, countertops, and a WC. Across from that room is also a linen closet. Across from that bedroom at your entrance here, this is actually gonna be your garage. Now for a villa, not as common to have a such a nice sizable uh, single door garage to a two car garage. So you're most likely gonna be able to fit one vehicle and your golf cart because you're gonna need a golf cart here in Nakati. When you exit your two car garage, you'll notice right here is that flex room. You could use it as a formal dining area. You can actually enclose it and make it an office or this could be your third bedroom option. Um, they come in two bedrooms with a flex room or a three bedroom. Of course, this will give you access to the bathroom next to bedroom number one at the front of the home. Across from the flex room or your third bedroom, you have a bag drop area to hang your coat. You also have a utility closet to go ahead and store your vacuum or whatever else you would wanna put in there. You can never have enough closet space. And then back here with its own door as well, you have your own laundry room. Again, you gotta love this open floor plan. It feels extra spacious because of these 12 foot higher ceilings. And of course you cannot, uh, can't overlook the gourmet kitchen. It certainly is very beautifully done. Nice backsplash, uh, gas stove, Nice size island for uh, when guests come over, they can sit at the breakfast bar and hang out while you prepare dinner. You've got a nice dining area with sliders out to your backyard. Big open concept uh, living space so that you can still be part of the party here in the kitchen as you have full view into the living room. Welcome to the primary suite. Again, 12 foot ceilings, but still another six, eight inches of a tray ceiling, even making it more spacious feeling. Nice large windows with plenty of natural light. Uh, notice also you do have eight foot doors. It makes you feel like you're really in a larger living space, even though this is just under 2000 square feet. Check out the master bath or the primary bath. You have a double vanity with lots of drawer space a nice big walk-in shower, in this case a rain shower, I'm sure that's an upgrade. Like I said earlier, you'll still be able to visit Design Center on some of these units if you're pre-planning and um, you will uh, at this time be able to spend an additional $20,000 uh, with the incentive in Design Center to add these little features if they're important to you, like that rain shower, upgraded finishes on uh, the hardware and whatnot. And then in the back here, pretty decent sized spacious, spacious master or primary closet. Um, plenty of room to put some built-ins in and make uh, good use effectively of this closet. Welcome to your backyard oasis. Even though these are villas, they each have their own 40 foot lot. And again, if it were me, I'd certainly leave a little money in the bank to extend your lanai, maybe even screen it in. If you want to, you can, after the fact, add a pool. That's completely up to you. 
but all of these units do back up to preserve and it does not feel like you're on in a villa or a duplex at all. And again, if you're gonna try to plan to make it multi-generational and have family next door, look at the size of this lot now. There's a lot of things you can do with this. So certainly a great opportunity for uh, having family members and being close, but still having the privacy with a huge backyard as well. Look at that, five burner gas stove. Now, if mom and dad are gonna be living next door, they do have to be careful with that. So, pretty good options here. A really nice product by David Weekly. A great option for multi-generational living. Like I said, don't wait too long. They're not gonna take, they're not gonna be as easy to find two units next to, next to each other so you can pick your neighbor. Know that um, you're, you do have an HOA fee on these villas and it basically will cover your, um, the painting of the home, the roof, and the pressure washing, but it will not uh, cover your lawn maintenance. And that HOA is roughly about $229 a month, and you will be paying that annually. It comes out to about $2750. And then you still have your CDD fee, which is around $2,000 a year. That's escrowed in your property taxes. And um, that CDD fee, of course, will give you full access to all the amenities in Nocatee and all the events as well. So again, great option for living here in Nocatee. You can have family members next door. Don't wait too long so you can still pick your neighbor. Uh, great price point with lots of incentives now. My name is Greg DiTulio. I love to be your resource of choice here in, in uh, Northeast Florida and Nocatee. I live here, I specialize here. If you haven't already checked out all my videos in Nocatee, check them out and I will see you on the next one. Oh,